We are married. I will deliver you a son. I want a divorce. And you will get one for me. A divorce? I don't think the English people would ever forgive him. Soon he will see you for what you really are. And he will tire of you, as of all the others. Perhaps you could imagine a way to keep his interest more prolonged? No, you mustn't be! If the lion knows his own strength, no man could control him. Are you really going to marry Mistress Boleyn? Why do you ask, Charles? I have it on very good authority that she and Thomas Wyatt were once lovers. I've heard those rumors. She denies it. <laughs> well, she would, wouldn't she? I said she denies it. I have His Majesty's order to banish you from court. You are to leave at once. Will you not dismiss that shameful creature Anne Boleyn from your court? I beseech you. Do not speak of her. I forbid it. Let's go. It's so hard when we are to be married, but she's still here. You can't have three people in a marriage. Why can't you see that? His Majesty commands that you be gone from this place within the month. Blessed lady. Wherever I go, I remain his wife. We are asked to admit His Majesty as Supreme Head of the Church. You're very beautiful, very desirable. I have to possess you utterly. Unfortunately, we cannot grant this to the king without abandoning our unity with Rome. Make way! Make way for the Lady Anne! Make way! You can tell your master, I will never agree to be judged by the Pope in this matter. He can do what he likes in Rome, I should do what I like here. I never thought I would live to see this day in England. I beseech your grace to take heed, not to pursue the path you seem to be taking. The kings of Europe have power, but no morality. I must act as their conscience. So help me God. I demand to know whose subjects are you. The Pope's or mine? I want to present you as my future wife and the future queen of England.